the next film is called uh, Thunder Charge, the name of a World War II uh, bomber, Hanley Page Halifax. And the film, um, the movie is about this, it's kind of strange to explain, because whenever I sum it up, I always think, oh, I did a terrible job explaining <laughs> what that's about. Um, um, it's on a mission over Europe, yep. and it, so we've got a devastating uh, bomb run. Yep. And then on its way back to the UK, uh, the crippled and lonely plane that's lost the rest of its flight, as uh, a little creepy creature comes on the plane and starts attacking one of the gunners. <laughs> so um, yeah, so you just, I like the like a comedy at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I knew it wasn't gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it sounds like I mean, it sounds like you've got that kind of classic horror um, again, like you know, kind of a classic horror format. It's an enclosed space. Yeah, uh, it's going to be claustrophobic, and obviously there's an unknown threat. Um, yeah, so it sounds like it's going to be pretty tense. Well, the idea is to. Um, I wasn't thinking cross genres. I was just thinking of what what it is that always draws me to any story I'd like to tell, which is ordinary people in an extraordinary yeah. scenario and then that would, I, I think that applies to the characters in Colin um, it's, it applies to the crew of Thunderchild yeah. um, and in the next film I, I'm, I'm hoping to make after Thunderchild which, which doesn't lend itself to any uh, genre in the sense that you think of genre film yeah. uh, it's, it's more like independent you know, drama um, but again it's another scenario where very normal characters in an extraordinary situation and, and that I find really interesting is a uh, I think it's good the audience that people to relate to um, which is all you know, as you said before the audience is the most important uh, aspect of filmmaking yeah it's you, you just you want them to care about these guys and I think for the I mean uh, I mean the, the, the creature is actually such a small part of the, of the finished film that I'm almost kind of worried that I've so oversold the creature out of it because <laughs> people do like creatures and it's inevitable I think when there is a creature people will focus on it but um, I mean I'm sure if the characters as if they're anything like the characters mm -hmm. of Colin people will be compelled to watching them and they'll worry about what's happening to them yeah you, I mean we, we want to get the audience to a point where none of these guys feel expendable mm -hmm. uh, you, you want them all to sort of get back so <laughs> when you've got the audience there then you're set you know it's, it's not about killing as many people as you can as fast as you can in 90 minutes no longer no. <laughs> you know it's not about that it's about you know trying to create characters you really care about so hopefully that you know the, the audience will feel like they're you know an extra crew member you know on the plane so so that you know for the first half of the movie where they really don't know where they are in this this night bombing raid the, char the characters are guiding the audience through this experience so we kind of connect with the crew and we're like thanks you know, you're our guys and then on the way back the, the horror genre where you know the, the, the creature feature sort of genre sort of creeps in there mm. and the audience feels that it knows where it is and they feel that tension of their new friends the, the, the crew you know and um, but of course we don't want to follow a formula there either so the audience is also like well I don't know where, <laughs> I don't know where we are Either so, it's a, the idea is just to create something that just yeah just feels very tense, and and you just care about these guys and you want them to get back and you know obviously the nature of the film is not all of them will no so it's terrible. or will any of them <laughs> well we'll <laughs> have to tune in um, whenever it's, it's released to find out I mean for the next film how are you are you going to plan a more traditional release for it I mean it's a hard thing to plan having not made the film or screen yeah, or anyone, yeah. but um, what are you kind of thinking at the moment um it's at the moment, I'm just focusing entirely on making the film. Um, I think Helen is, you know, constantly thinking about how we could uh, market and get the film out there. We've been very lucky in the contacts we made uh, through Colin that we might be able to generate some sort of publicity just for mm -hmm. the fact that we get to make another movie. Yeah. Um, but I kind of think it's important that this next one shouldn't be a retread no, of, of what we did with the last one. It, it, other than it should feel like something that uh, hopefully an audience will feel they hadn't seen before. That's the only thing I think we should try and do with this one. Because that was what we were hoping to call it, it would feel like a very fresh experience. And uh, with Thunderchild, we wanted to, even though it obviously they're, they're, it, it lends itself to other really amazing movies, like I guess The Thing and um, Worryingly Alien. <laughs>